Hey guys, Alfin here. Welcome to video one of my 10 video series on George Bridgman style anatomy. Uh, today I'm going to be going over three things. I'm going to be going over head, chest, and pelvis boxing, and proportions, and balance. If you want to follow along, which I highly encourage you to do, you can just grab, uh, grab any old pencil, any old HB pencil, or whatever you have lying around, and a piece of paper, and then let's uh, go ahead and get started. The head, chest, and pelvis boxing is like a strategy that Bridgman uses, which is really kind of smart because he uses a box to represent the head and a box like a rectangular box to represent the chest and uh, another rectangular box to represent the pelvis and I'm going to draw that right here. So this is head, chest, and pelvis boxing. It's basically starting and drawing with a block for the head, a block you know the size for the chest, and a block the size for the pelvis and it's a good way to start a drawing because you can you know tell the distance and how these parts of the body are in relationship to each other so you know Jim Lee says that if you want a really dynamic pose really dynamic figure you have to try to um, maximize the distance um, from the chest and the pelvis like see how separated you can get them and how off-center you can get them while still having it you know uh, anatomically correct you know not like you know way out of out of proportion but it makes sense because the head chest and pelvis are parts of the body that don't they're the like most solid parts of the body that the parts of the body that don't really change shape or anything like that so it's a really good way to start a drawing so I'll uh, continue it now and see how you can complete a drawing you know uh, after starting it like this Yeah, so you can see how this can be, um, how this can kind of become, you know, the figure, how you can use this so the chest would be facing, you know, out this way, you know, the pose this way, and the face this way, you know, so you can kind of see how that works. It's really useful with uh, building the figure, I don't really <laughs> know what I was doing with this arm here, but <laughs> um, anyways, so that's how, um, how you can really make use of that, and of course, you know, go, I'd go over those pages in the book if you happen to have purchased the book, but you know, move on to the next section. So now on to part two, proportions. Um, it says on uh, page 10, and a quote, Bridgman here, it says, if given proportions were used, even though these proportions were the ideal average, they would result in a drawing without character. Again, to apply these so-called canons of art, the figure must be on eye level, upright, and rigid. So what he's saying is if you measure everything out, every drawing, you know, it's going to be, it's going to make the drawing probably look stiff, you know, almost for sure. So there's some examples here about, of, you know, about how many heads high you can draw a figure, you know, from, I guess, a straight on view. As soon as you change the angle and direction, it's not going to, you know, be exactly the same amount of heads high. But it, I guess a seven and a half is a popular one. It says Michelangelo did. I guess his figure is eight heads high, and I've heard a lot of the comic book artists say nine heads high is for like a big, you know, bigger character. So I'll just go ahead and draw out the um, draw out the figure here, like he has it, the seven and a half heads high one. So here's the male and female seven and a half head tie, and it, it shows the the female a half head shorter than the male, but I just drew them the same same height here. On the next page it shows a Bridgman figure, let's see, seven and a half head tie again, but not standing perfectly straight up, so kind of changes the proportions a little bit since it's not perfectly straight up, but I'll go ahead and draw that one right here. So you can see with this drawing, it's not super stiff and rigid. I mean, the you can kind of measure out the proportion. Well, the hair is kind of covering right here, but you can kind of measure out the proportion. Still, seven and a half heads high, and it's not super stiff. I guess you just have to have a yes. Yeah, so it works if it's as long as it's straight on enough of a of a view of a pose. And it's about it for proportions. We can move on to balancing the figure now. So for a figure to look good, it needs to you know be well proportion and also it should be balanced looking or else it's gonna look kind of strange so I'll do a drawing for an example and I'm gonna draw an unbalanced drawing and you can see how what I mean by how it looks kind of strange all right 
right, so I drew this figure um, leaning backwards, and <laughs> it looks kind of strange because it looks like, if you just look at this, it, look, it looks like he's just going to, you know, slowly fall backwards because the for a figure to be balanced, it, you know, every figure has a center of gravity line, and it needs to be either going over um, one of their feet or between the figure's two feet, so the center of gravity gravity line would probably be about about right here and Bridgman shows this in, in the book over the figures so there'd probably be a, a line right here. This about right here would be the center of gravity so it would you know it would be wanting to pull the figure this way so that's why it looks kind of funny and I mean it's kind of an <laughs> extreme back arch too but uh, that's why it looks kind of weird like it looks like he would just fall over. So whenever you draw pretty much any drawing like that, where the center of gravity isn't over one of their feet or between both of the figure's feet, it's gonna look like the figure is gonna fall that way. But you can, if like a character's running fast or jumping, then it doesn't really apply that much because they're obviously moving. But a standing figure is gonna look weird. So watch when I just add the other, you know, when I draw this leg, it looks weird. But when I just, as soon as I just add this, leg sticking out right here then now all of a sudden it looks a lot better because now the, the center of gravity line is between the the two feet so now I kind of drew that foot kind of bad but <laughs> the, you get the idea so now you know it looks like okay now he's balancing himself so you have to make sure the you know the center of gravity is you know like I said between the feet or at least over one of the feet so I'll draw another example right here So you can see with this figure, um, see the center of gravity is right here, so it looks like this is barely going through, um, <laughs> barely over the foot. So he would be probably having most of the pressure on the end of his foot right here. You know, see he's like almost leaning this way, and also it looks in the figure, the way Bridgman drew him, he, he looks like he's kind of shocked, like he just noticed. Like maybe he was just walking and he, uh, you know, stopped and kind of caught himself you know but it still works because the line is still over the foot so I'm going to do one more example right here all right so this one looks like he's leaning for like he would probably tip forward the center of gravity line probably about you know, about right here somewhere so I don't think it's really a straight line but anyway you know, it looks kind of weird, but then as soon as I add this other other leg in here, now it looks, <laughs> I just changed it, now it looks fine because the center of gravity line is between the, um, between the feet right here. So that's it for the head, chest, pelvis, boxing, and proportions and balance. So if you have any questions or anything or comments, you can just go ahead and comment down, down below and I'll get back to you. So just, uh, yeah, practice drawing the the figures that I drew, or if you have the book, you can go over some of those figures. I'm kind of doing a simplified, you know, version. Maybe I should have called this the Crash Course, the 10 video Crash Course on Bridgman Anatomy. I'll see you in the next video, which will be the Heads video. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.